Good evening. This is Akashvani and I am Abhishek Mukhopadhyay with the news at 9. The headlines. Campaigning ends for first phase of assembly elections in Jharkhand. Electioneering also concludes for by polls to 33 assembly seats and Kerala's Wayanad parliamentary seat. Ten armed militants killed in an encounter with security forces in Jiribam district of Manipur. Supreme Court asks Delhi Police Commissioner to form a special cell for effective implementation of ban on firecrackers. Observes that no religion encourages pollution. Shigeru Ishiba re-elected Prime Minister of Japan after run of voting in Parliament. And in Women's Asian Hockey Champions Trophy, India begins campaign on a strong note. beating malaysia 4-0 at rajgir in bihar campaigning for the first phase of assembly elections in jharkhand ended this evening polling in this phase will be held in 43 constituencies on wednesday star campaigners of both the nda and the india bloc made last ditch efforts to woo voters in favor of the party candidates Senior BJP leader and Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacted with BJP workers in Jharkhand today. On the other hand, senior Jharkhand Mukti Morcha leader and Chief Minister Hemant Soren held an election rally in Palamu. A correspondent reports that over 200 rallies were held during this phase of campaigning. Both NDA and India bloc raised various issues to woo voters in favor of their party candidates. NDA raised Bangladeshi infiltration, corruption against Hemant Soren government, unemployment and monthly cash transfer scheme. While India bloc raised discrimination against Jharkhand by central government, inadequate funds allocation to the state and monthly transfer scheme. With KK Lal, Sanjeev Sharma, Akashwani News, Ranchi. Meanwhile, polling teams have been dispatched to the stations from today. Chief Electoral Officer K Ravi Kumar said polling parties have been sent to 225 polling stations in the sensitive districts of West Singbhum, Latehar, Lohardagga, Garwa and Gumla. To support this Indian Air Force helicopters have been used to transport polling officials safely. Jharkhand Chief Electoral Officer suspended Under Secretary Sanjay Kumar Srivastava following violation of the Model Code of Conduct. Voting in the second phase in the state will take place for 38 seats on the 20th of this month. Campaigning also concluded today for by-elections to 33 assembly constituencies in 11 states and for Kerala's Wayanad parliamentary seat. By-polls will be held on Wednesday for seven seats in Rajasthan, six in West Bengal, five seats in Assam, four in Bihar, three seats in Karnataka and two each in Madhya Pradesh and Sikkim. Besides, assembly by-polls will also take place for one seat each in Kerala, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat and Meghalaya. In Rajasthan, leaders of Congress, BJP and other parties put all their might in campaigning on the last day today. BJP leader and Chief Minister Bhajan Lal Sharma addressed public meetings in Chaurasi and Salumbar. Congress leader Tikaram Juli addressed rallies in Ramgarh Assembly constituency. In Maharashtra, political parties have ramped up efforts with rallies and road shows to secure voter support for assembly polls. Voting in the state on all 288 constituencies will be held on the 20th of this month. As part of an ongoing series on constituency profiles ahead of the upcoming assembly elections in Maharashtra, today we focus on Mumba Devi, a key constituency in the state. The seat is expected to see a tight contest between the state's two main political alliances. We have more from a correspondent. Mumba Devi is one of the 10 assembly constituencies in Mumbai city district and is a part of the Mumbai South Lok Sabha seat along with five other constituencies. Mumba Devi that was established in 1978 initially remained a stronghold of the Janata Party and later the BJP except for the period between 1985 and 1990 when Congress's Lalit Kapadia held the seat. He was soon succeeded by the BJP's Raj Purohit who won from Mumba Devi four consecutive times. After 2009, major boundary changes reshaped the constituency, altering the political landscape. Since then, Congress leader Amin Patel has been elected three times in a row and is the current MLA. This time, he faces a challenge from Shaina N C, who recently joined Shiv Sena after leaving the BJP. Ankita Apte, Akashwani News, Mumbai. 
The BJP has urged the election commission to take action against Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, alleging that he has once again attempted to spread falsehoods regarding the Maharashtra assembly polls. The ruling party called on the poll panel to act against the Congress MP for gross violation of the Model Code of Conduct, referring to a section of speech in Mumbai last week. A BJP delegation led by senior party leader Arjun Ram Meghwal met the chief election commissioner in this regard today and urged to file an FIR against the Congress leader. A high-level committee under the chairmanship of Union Home Minister Amit Shah has approved three projects of around 726 crore rupees for Chhattisgarh, Odisha and West Bengal. These projects have been approved under the expansion and modernization of fire services in the states. The Home Ministry in a statement said that the committee has approved around 148 crore rupees for Chhattisgarh, 201 crore rupees for Odisha and nearly 377 crore rupees for West Bengal. External Affairs Minister Dr S Jayashankar today reaffirmed India's commitment to enhancing connectivity, market and investment links to achieve 100 billion in trade with Russia by 2030. Dr Jayashankar was speaking at the India Russia Business Forum in Mumbai. signing of a bilateral agreement between our customs authorities of the two countries in may 2024 on authorized economic operators has had a big impact on smoothening the ease of doing trade three connectivity initiatives between us the international north south transport corridor the chennai vladivostok corridor and the northern maritime route all need continued attention if we are to realize their full potential a new campus of the indian institute of foreign trade iift will soon be opened in dubai union minister of commerce and industry piyush goel made the announcement today while speaking virtually at the 57th convocation of iift in new delhi all of you young men and women are the generation that will define the path of success going forward as the honorable prime minister shri narendra modi said and i quote the young generation can achieve every goal you be the thought leaders in the next generation you have the opportunity to be the architects of this wonderful future this is akashwani giving you the news for quick news updates around the clock follow us on x handle at air news alerts and for details of stories and more log on to our website www.newsonair.gov.in and download news on air app in manipur 10 armed militants were killed in an encounter with security forces in jiribam district today according to the police crpf posts located at jakura dhor in the district were attacked by armed militants this afternoon The security forces retaliated strongly leading to heavy exchange of fire in which security forces recovered the bodies of 10 militants one CRPF jawan sustained a bullet injury in the incident a criminal case has been registered in the matter and investigation is underway the national investigation agency today conducted extensive searches at multiple locations across the country the searches were conducted in jammu and kashmir karnataka west bengal bihar Tripura and Assam in connection with the activities of some Bangladeshi nationals as part of terror group Al Qaeda's conspiracy to destabilize the country the searches led to the recovery of incriminating documents and other evidence related to terror funding activities the supreme court has said that the right to health is a fundamental right of citizens and no religion encourages pollution a two judge bench comprising justices abhay s oka and Augustine George Massey today stated that every citizen's right to live in a pollution-free environment is safeguarded under article 21 of the Indian Constitution the top court questioned the authorities for the failure to implement the ban on firecrackers in delhi during diwali it directed the delhi police commissioner to take immediate actions for banning firecrackers and form a special cell to ensure the effective implementation of the ban Last week the court had issued a notice to Delhi government and police to explain why they failed to implement and enforce the ban on firecrackers. The air quality in Delhi NCR continues to be in the very poor category. According to the Central Pollution Control Board, an air quality index AQI of 352 was reported in the national capital at 8 p.m. 
Justice Sanjeev Khanna today took oath as the 51st Chief Justice of India. President Draupadi Murmu administered the oath of office to Justice Khanna at a ceremony at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Justice Sanjeev Khanna has succeeded Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, who demitted office yesterday. The 83rd annual session of the Indian Roads Congress concluded at Raipur in Chhattisgarh today. 18 technical sessions were organized during the four-day session in which experts and engineers from the country and abroad gave their presentation. We have a report. Total of 14 documents were approved in this four-day session, out of which seven are related to roads, whereas the other seven are related to bridges. Indian Roads Congress General Secretary Sanjay Kumar Nirmal said that a document related to wayside amenities has also been approved during the session. हाईवे पे जब आप चलते हो तो साइड में क्या-क्या एमिनिटीज होनी चाहिए रेस्टोरेंट्स भी होने चाहिए इवन पंचर अगर कहीं हो गया तो पंचर को रिपेयर करने की भी होनी चाहिए कियोस्क भी होने चाहिए हर 50 किलोमीटर पे टॉयलेट होने चाहिए अ पैनल डिस्कशन वाज आल्सो हेल्ड ऑन द क्वालिटी ऑफ रोड्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द आइडियाज एंड सजेशंस रिसीव्ड इन दिस पैनल डिस्कशन द इंडियन रोड्स कांग्रेस विल प्रिपेयर अ रिपोर्ट एंड सेंड इट टू द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया during the session, Professor Manoranjan Parida, Director of Central Road Research Institute, was elected as the new President of the Indian Roads Congress. Vikal Pashukla, Akashwani News, Raipur. In Jammu and Kashmir, the Army has launched a recruitment drive aimed at providing opportunities for young men across all districts in the Kashmir region to join the Territorial Army. Talking to Akashwani News, an army official said, Baramulla town witnessed an extraordinary turnout with a large number of young candidates attending an army recruitment rally at Ganta Mulla today. The recruitment drive will continue until the 17th of this month. The 55th edition of the International Film Festival of India, IFI, will begin on the 20th of this month in Goa. Briefing the media at the Curtain Razor press conference in New Delhi today, Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Dr. L. Murugan said, Festival has received an overwhelming response from both filmmakers and audiences. Secretary of the Minister of Information and Broadcasting Sanjay Jaju informed that the Satyajit Ray Lifetime Achievement Award will be presented to renowned Australian filmmaker Philip Noyes this year. In Japan, leader of the Liberal Democratic Party, LDP, Shigeru Ishiba, was re-elected as the country's Prime Minister today after securing the most votes in both houses of the Japanese Diet. The Japanese Parliament, known as the Diet, convened an extraordinary session this afternoon to elect the Prime Minister. Following the loss of his long-held majority in last month's general election, the ruling coalition of the LDP and Komeito faced a run of vote between Prime Minister Ishiba and the leader of the major opposition, Constitutional Democratic Party, Yoshihiko Noda. In the run of voting in the House of Representatives, 67-year-old Ishiba outperformed Noda to become the country's 103rd Prime Minister, despite falling short of the 233 majority threshold. In Women's Asian Hockey Champions Trophy, defending champions India began the campaign defeating Malaysia 4-0 in the opening match at Rajgir in Bihar. Earlier, the inaugural match between Japan and South Korea ended in a 2-2 draw. In the other match of the day, China thrashed Thailand with a scoreline of 15-0. Chief Minister Nitish Kumar inaugurated the 10th event formally this evening amid a splendid display of firecrackers and cheering of spectators. In a bilingual live phone-in program public speak at 9.30pm tonight, we will bring an insightful discussion on air pollution, impact and mitigation with Professor Neeraj Gupta, Department of Respiratory Medicine at Sabdarjang Hospital and Mukul Sanwal, Senior Environmentalist. During the program, listeners will have the opportunity to pose questions to experts regarding air pollution. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Campaigning ends for first phase of assembly elections in Jharkhand. Electioneering also concludes for bipoles to 33 assembly seats and Kerala's Wayanad parliamentary seat. Ten armed militants killed in an encounter with security forces in Jiribam district of Manipur. Supreme Court asked Delhi Police Commissioner to form a special cell for effective implementation of ban on firecrackers. Observes that no religion encourages pollution. Shigeru Ishiba re-elected Prime Minister of Japan after runoff voting in Parliament and in Women's Asian Hockey Champions Trophy, India begins campaign on a strong note, beating Mal- Malaysia 4-0 at Rajgir in Bihar. And that is all in the news at 9. Good night.